Senator David Gowan here. Welcome to another Gavel In with Gowan. I want to begin by giving you a quick update on the bills that are being discussed on the floor and the budget. We are working diligently to deliver a well-balanced state budget that will benefit all Arizonans. As negotiations continue, there are still many bills going through the legislative process. In the past couple of weeks, the Senate heard many House measures dealing with personal freedoms, medical choice, parental rights, and school instruction. I was proud to support these proposals. These bills will strengthen Arizona. Next, Joint Legislative Budget Committee released their monthly fiscal highlights report, and I wanted to share a couple of things from the report, which is another indicator that our fiscally conservative policies are working and bringing more money into Arizona and are continuing to strengthen our economy, despite the failures of the federal government policies that have led to the extreme inflation we are experiencing now. April general fund revenue collections were $2.07 billion, which is the highest amount ever collected in general fund revenues for any month. This amount significantly exceeded projections with April collections alone generating a revenue gain of $518 million above the January baseline revenue forecast. April collections represent an increase of 53.2% compared to April of 2021. However, beyond the strong underlying revenue performance, we believe the year-over-year -year percentage growth was particularly inflated due to the state's deferral of last year's 2021 income tax deadline from April to May. Finally, on Memorial Day, Americans across the country will take time to relax and spend time with their families and friends. And while I'm glad that we all have the opportunity to do so, I must remind you of how and why we are fortunate to do so. It's because of our men and women who put their lives on the line every day to protect us, both at home and abroad. Memorial Day is a day when we honor the warriors who gave their lives protecting us. We also must remember the families who have been left behind as well and offer them our support. They gave their loved ones to us to be free. I hope you will take the time to express your gratitude for their sacrifice. God bless them and their family. Thank you for watching and come back for more next week. Until then, I'm gaveling out.